Mad Alliance was howling as Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. So in this Mad Talk video, um, I'm not going to discuss anything about um, Avengers Infinity War or Avengers 4, how I have been, but I'm just going to talk about Phase 4, kind of, I guess, and how the destruction of Xandar could, um, that Thanos did to acquire the Power Stone, how that scene, we could get that scene and it could be used in Phase 4 as like a beginning scene of a Nova movie to introduce Nova into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I actually wasn't going to, I planned to do this video, just not as soon as I'm doing it. But um, I'm doing it now because I was recently uh, asked on my Twitter by a guy by the name of Moonlight. Awesome guy. He's a guy, uh, you know, interacts with uh, me a lot on Twitter. And on one of my Mad Talk videos that I posted uh he had asked, he had said it would be cool if you did a video talking about the destruction of Xandar and how that could lead to a Nova movie. So thank you, Moonlight, for asking me to do this video. And thing is, we did, like, we could have seen this in Avengers Infinity War. This, that's, that's actually what a lot of us thought was going to be the opening of Avengers Infinity War because, uh, you know, the Russo brothers and... Uh, Kevin Feige were, you know, hyping up the beginning of the movie saying the first five minutes of the movie, Thanos does something that shows you he's the biggest and baddest Marvel villain. And that still happened, you know, it wasn't what we thought it would be the destruction of Xandar, but it was still the destruction of the Asgardian ship and wiping out half of the Asgardians, breaking the test rack, you know, getting the space stone, killing Loki, huh? you know, defeating the Hulk. So we still got that five minutes that showed us Thanos is the big bad, but we thought it would be the destruction of Xandar. And, um, but you know, that was cut from, well, I don't know if it was ever even planned, um, because the Russo brothers did say that, you know, the film was already long enough. And also, uh, it'll just be like one too many stones to show Thanos getting, you know, like they felt the movie should have started off with Thanos already having acquired one which I actually liked that, so I didn't mind it. But at the same time, it just would have been so cool to see the destruction of Xandar. And that actually sounds kind of bad you know, to want to see genocide of half of the planet's population, but you know what I mean. It would, just, it would be really cool to see that scene happen on screen. And it isn't like we didn't know where the Power Stone was. Anyone who watches these MCU movies and follows the... Uh, you know, long overgrowing story. We all knew that the Power Stone was with the Nova Corps on Xandar, so it isn't like we needed an explanation of where it was. We knew where it was, so we knew how Thanos was going to get to acquire it. But the, like I said, the thing is, it would just be really cool to see it. But I understand why it wasn't in the film, and uh, because of what the Russo brothers said and explained why it wasn't in the film, I understand that, and I'm okay with it. It's just it would be cool to see it, and so a way to do that, a way to, uh, you know, give us that scene is to make it the beginning scene of a Nova movie, you know, and think, I'm not going to act like I know a lot about Nova because I honestly don't, I don't even know Nova's actual name. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know Nova's actual name besides his hero name, Nova. And, um, I don't really know his powers. I know he could fly. But other than that, I don't know his powers, so I'm not going to act like I even know it. Pretty much the only thing I know about Nova is his name is Nova. I know how he looks, and I know that he could fly. And I know that he's a citizen of Xandar, I guess? Maybe, I guess? That's, that's all I know, okay? So I'm not going to act like I know anything about Nova, but I really want this character to be introduced into the MCU so that I could learn more about him. Why don't you just read a comic, Joe Wool? Uh, I still like to see him on the big screen, you know? So, um, yeah, point is, one, it would be introducing a new character into the MCU. And also, you know, it would be, it would just be providing that fan service, you know, of giving us the showing, letting us see the scene of Thanos destroying Xandar that we didn't get to see in uh, 
Avengers Infinity War, you know. And I like that idea, you know, like some, something that happened at this point in time in this movie, but we didn't get to see the scene of that happening, but we get to see it in a later movie for to, you know, set up another movie and to set up another character's, um, you know, beginning of his or her journey. I like that idea. I think it's a great beginning to a Nova movie. We see, you know, uh, like I said, I don't remember, I don't, well, I don't, not that I don't remember, I don't know uh, his actual name, but we see Nova on the planet Xandar. Um, he's one of the people who survives. Uh, well, like he's one of the, he's the other half of the population of Xandar that does survive. He sees uh, Thanos, you know, wreaking havoc and we see him collect the soul stone so we see this scene that happened in this point in time in this movie but we see it happen in a later movie like i said i like that concept and then you know after nova sees all that happen then his you know character journey as uh becoming a hero begins i don't have too much more to say on it um mostly just due to the fact that i don't know too much about nova so um you know after nova sees uh, his planet destroyed, I don't really know where he would continue from there because I don't know his origin in the comics, so I don't know exactly how it would play out in the MCU, and I don't know how, uh, I don't know how old he would be when Thanos comes to Xandar and takes the stone. I don't know if he would be, like, young or if he would maybe be, like, a young adult. I don't know, uh, I don't know how old he would be, but, uh, like I said, I do like the idea of, you know, uh, it entered first, you know, we get that fan service of seeing this scene that we'd all love to see. And then second, it introduces a new character into the MCU. And I like the idea of, you know, us seeing it, what something that happened in this movie, but we see it in another movie, like how in Captain Marvel, we'll probably, we'll most likely definitely see how Nick Fury got his eye patch when we've always seen him with the eye patch. And it's like, huh, how did he get that? But then... In this other movie, we get to see that. So it's like the same thing for Infinity War. We see Thanos with the Power Stone. We knew how he got it, but then we actually see how it happened in a later movie. So I, I kind of like that idea of, you know, kind of how that happens sometimes in movies. And I would definitely, like, I, just, I really want that scene, okay? And I'm sure a lot of you do too. I really want that scene. I want to see... Thanos acquiring the Power Stone and also um you know like I said fan service and then after Avengers 4 we might not see Thanos for a while I hope he doesn't die I hope that Thanos does not get killed okay because I could definitely see him returning back and um at one point in the comics he actually became kind of like an ally of the heroes for you know certain other larger threats in the universe so um, I just see that they're, you know, and how much they've built Thanos up and how much they've developed him. I just, I think it would be a, all that would have been a waste if they just kill him off in Avengers 4. So, um, I hope they don't, don't do that. But if we do see that scene of Thanos destroying Xandar in a Nova movie, then of course that scene would be a flashback scene. So, um, Thanos wouldn't have to be currently alive for that scene to happen. Um, but my point of that is, um, aside from the fan service and aside from introducing Nova into the MCU, it will give us another chance to see Thanos, you know, because like I said, after Avengers 4, we might not see him ever again, or at least for a while. So uh, that scene of Thanos getting the Power Stone, it gives us another chance to see Thanos on the big screen. Let me know what you guys think, though, in the comment section below. Do you guys like the idea of um, a Nova movie starting off, you know, the begin, the very beginning scene is half of Xandar's population being wiped out and Thanos retrieving uh, the Power Stone. Would you guys like to see? I know a lot of you, I know it's not just me who wants to see that beginning scene of Xandar being destroyed, but would you like the idea of that scene being used to introduce Nova into the MCU? Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought. Links from my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell. 
to join the MAD Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. My name's Joe, aka Mad and Joe FC. Hope y'all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.